This video was sponsored by Enhance, Elbil Mac, a better road planner, Camp Power, and Bill Componente. Yo, what's up? We are now at Ayunti Dal in a Nissan Leaf 40 kilowatt hour. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys this new and updated CCS uh, or Chadamo to CCS adapter. So, the previous version you guys have seen before, where I used it to charge the soul. That was the first one. This is an updated in the, some of the lists you can find here on the compatibility list. It lists this as um, uh, the, the adapter plus resistor or something. Uh, so yes, it's supposed to work on V3, V4 supercharger also. I tested it though, I didn't make it work on V4. I'm gonna test another site. But now I'm gonna test it on Ionity, which is, um, well, I think this is the not sure if it's a, a tritium or uh, or the well, the old tritium or the AVB, but this enables Leaf to charge on CCS like supercharger or Ionity or anything. So it actually makes Leaf future proof. And before I start, yes, you can use my discount link. Uh, sorry, discount code, and then you get five percent discount. This is quite expensive but at least with the code, it becomes slightly cheaper. And then this is the one that's gonna save the leaf, right? So now connected to this car, the procedure is that you connect the adapter to the car side first, and then you initiate the charging from there. And then once it says connect to the car, then you plug it in and then you press and hold this button. And now it seems to work. Oh, it is working. Ooh, 40 kilowatt even. So this is the tritium. Uh, you can see it here. They have very similar design on the newer Ionity that is from ABB, but this is the old tritium and it works great here. We can take a look now what it looks like in Leaf Spy. Okay, I need to fire up the car to get all the data. So. <laughs> It's hot now, it's, it, it has been replicating from the 500 kilometer challenge. I hit 54 degrees Celsius and then uh, over a course of um, almost 10 hours, then it cooled down to 36 degrees. So it's actually receiving 40 kilowatt it's in, 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 a, in a slight replicate state. But I mean, that doesn't matter. Um, Okay, for Seoul, you get 200 amp on the Chadamo, but the Leaf here only, at least this version of Leaf, only goes to maximum 125 amp. But if you have the E, uh, the, the, we call it E plus, what they right? Um, the 62 kilowatt hour Leaf, then you can actually, if it works here, I haven't tested it, you can get uh, 200 amp or 60, no, no, 72 kilowatt on any CCS. It can be Ionity. It can maybe be the Alpitronics over there. We're gonna test that also eventually. So, I mean, this is wonderful. It gives the leaf so much more flexibility. Okay, next test, Alpitronic. Very common, used by Circle K, well, also in Germany, by the other CBOs. Uh, recharge, use them more and more. So, let's see. Try the handshake. We should see something over there eventually. Um, Huh? Start. Huh? I started via the app. I think it's trying the handshake, but it might. I don't know. Maybe it's. You see. Uh, hmm. Uh, because it's kind of simple in the app with normal CCS cars that you plug it in and then it shows up in the app. It detects that okay, there is one car that is plugged in and it guesses that it's that plug and then. Yeah, but now, okay, it seems like it failed. Hmm. Okay, that seems to work better. So this time I didn't use the auto detect. I had to look here and had to go in the app and initiate this plug initially first and then plug it in and now press and hold for five, uh, a couple of seconds. And at least it seems like it's working. Previously, we did not see this. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. It seems to work. Great news. We also double check this. Uh, okay, it's in the rapid state, <laughs> rapid state, rapid gate state, so it will not charge that fast. 30 kilowatt. Uh, okay, uh, whatever. We are just testing if it works or not. Um, not sure if we need to test long enough. Yeah, when it comes to stability, I I don't have time to test that, but I want to see if it works on V2 supercharger. 
And in order to stop it, you can either stop it the normal way via the app or whatever you have in the CPU, or you can also use this button, a stop button, click, and then it stops everything. Yeah, you see, it's already stopped. We are now in Nebenes Supercharger V2. I'm using the CCS plug, but it doesn't seem to work. Hmm. Same with the V4. Wait, did I ever get it to work with Supercharger and the Soul with the adapter? Uh, I'm not sure. I think, no, I, I mostly did uh, uh, the chem power. Uh, okay, we should test chem power right behind us to see if that works at least. Okay, retry. Wait, wait, look, look, wait, 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 wait. Charging fail. Exactly the same as the V4 Supercharger. Yeah, it's pouring down outside, so I don't feel like retrying too many times, but it seems like it doesn't work with supercharger. Cam power, yes, it works. I'm gonna show you now. It's about to start there, okay. So we can fire up the car. Yeah, you can see also on the cam power screen there. Sorry, I'm just, uh, uh, I don't want to get even wetter than I am right now. Oh, 36, 38 kilowatts. Impressive speed despite the rapid gate. Okay, but it works here. Chem power, yes, also very common uh, charger around the world. So it's great that it works there. Supercharger V4. Wait, huh? Is it working? It, 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 it blinks. Huh. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's working. Hmm, maybe I should go back to that other location to see if it works or not. Because, uh, okay, well, uh, 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 speed doesn't matter, but let's see, at least see if it charges for a little bit. Hmm. Uh, maybe I made a mistake earlier. Um, okay, but it, it's working now, charging. Let's try the V3 over there. You see, when I push in the adapter, the first step, um, you can see it. You push it and then oh, it clicks, but I'm not sure if it always clicks like that. On the previous test, it felt like now it clicks easily. Sometimes it might not click easily, so you have to push it hard enough until it clicks. So I'm not sure if I did it correctly. I, I mean, I, I think I did it correctly, but okay, let's try now V3. Okay, plug it in, press the button, it blinks. Basically, when it blinks, it will boot up the whole system in here. It's like a little uh, mini computer in here that does all that communication. And then we have to see, wait, it blinks there. Wait, wait. Oh, it seems to work. Huh. Maybe I should go back to Yes Home. And no, no, you see, you see. And then it stops. So, and then clicks. And then it seems to stop. Yeah. And then we get this again. Charging fail. So, um. Um, at Yes Home at Dremen, we have V4, but I could not successfully charge, and we tried the V2. So it seems like with Tesla, it's more or less random. Even though in the compatibility list, it shows us that it works, but maybe there's just something about this leaf versus the Tesla or whatever. But um, yeah, so at least I couldn't make it work this time. Okay, at least I try again, just to see if maybe there's some handshake problems. It blinks there initially. Deet, deet. That's the uh, on the leaf side. So there could be a random. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so th this is good. Yeah. Um, what's going to test this? So it's like um, Fat Etron trying to charge on Ionity with Fat cables, right? Uh, it might randomly work and then it might randomly not work. In that case, what you need to do is just retry or, I don't know, maybe there's a, a slight tolerance here. It was out of tolerance in, in the plug or something and then it failed, but okay. So that's good. So, but then maybe if I try it long enough, it will also work on V2 supercharger. Okay, just see that it charges long enough. Yeah. With this, with, the, with this made any difference in the 500 km challenge? Well, not really. I went for the native Chadamo plugs and I drove at night, so all the Chadamo plugs I stopped at were, were available. And the timing, actually, I ended up at, uh, at many of the um, 
the locations where I didn't have Tesla or Ionity. It was mostly some uh, some chem power and yeah, I don't remember. So it would have made a difference and the car doesn't charge any faster with this adapter but it's just that you open up it's like being bisexual you can suddenly find more lovers or uh, uh, if that makes any sense <laughs> what 36 kilowatt really nice so there you guys have it this adapter is awesome yeah somewhat high investment cost but uh, if you love your uh, leaf then you would do anything for love right <laughs> or maybe you can uh, if you're a leaf group you can go together get together get together but you can get together and maybe buy uh, this together five people or whatever and then you can just gangbang the the adapter whenever you need it right yeah or whatever so or maybe you can even buy it and rent it out to other on, on fin or other marketplaces but yeah, I will test it now. It works on the most common or the most popular chargers. That's great. Yeah. And then if you guys are up for it, I should try to get uh, to borrow at least 62 kilowatt hour. And then we test. Uh, well, that, that, that is so big battery. Maybe I should do 1000 kilometer challenge. Yeah. Do 1000 kilometer challenge with the adapter charging at 200 amps. See how fast it replicates versus actually throttling it to only 125 amp, you know, around 40, 45, 47 kilowatt, and then see if that yields a better 1,000 kilometer time. <laughs> well, I'm not sure if I have time for that uh, challenge, though. I might be old before I finish. <laughs> anyway, I think that's going to be for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.